Hey guys, this video tutorial is brought to you by webvidtuts.com and in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to use Merge and Center in Excel in order to make a nice good looking spreadsheet. Okay, Merge and Center is basically, well it basically does what it says in the name. It merges uh, a selected area or selected number of cells and then centers them. In Merge and Center, there are different uh, options you can choose, like Merge and Center, which is the default one, and you've got Merge Across, Merge Cells, and obviously Unmerge the Cells. Okay, so first, if you have a title on Excel and you wish to merge that title, so let's just put webvidtuts.com there, and it looks quite ugly over there because it's only taking up the range of one cell and really we want it to stretch across the whole spreadsheet to make it actually look pres presentable okay so what we're going to do is actually select all the cells which we wish to merge so I'm going to select it all the way up to uh, the very end where we can't see and then I'm just going to hit merge and center and as you can see this webvid tuts has now merged itself and of course centered itself okay there are different options for merge and center like i said before so you can merge across which basically merges obviously the the separate cells going across so the uh, rows and you've got um merge cells which just merges them but does not center them and obviously you've got merge cells okay so we're gonna want to merge and center themselves and we can also use this middle align so it aligns the text in the center and then we can make the text bigger or whatever you want to do in order to make that look a lot better than what it did okay so that is how you use the merge and center tool it is useful for other, as I said before, presentation and just to make certain things stand out more. And maybe if you've got, say, a name which takes up more than one cell, you can just select the two cells that that name takes up and obviously merge and center it. Or, of course, you can just merge the cells and it will stay in its current position. Okay, so that is how you basically merge cells. Thank you for watching everyone, and remember we do put a lot of time into these videos, so if you could please rate, comment and subscribe.